guys and welcome back to chemistry 1032 lab instructional video i am your host dr russell betts and i'll be guiding you through today's example problem today we're working on example 11.3 determining the type of glycosidic bond now when determining the type of glycosidic bond first of all you have to know what a glycosidic bond is you have to be able to find it then you have to be able to describe whether the bond is going up or down on the anomeric carbon that is to say is it alpha or beta it also could be both um, then you have to tell me what carbon numbers are involved in that. So let's break this down and how to, how to deal with this. Now you should have read in the manual that six member ring sugar structures and five member ring sugars have different numbering systems. So let's go ahead and number each one of the carbons in each monosaccharide so that we can go ahead and figure out what type of glycosidic bond we're dealing with. So on a six member ring structure, that is always carbon one. Find the oxygen in the ring, go one carbon to the right, the anomeric carbon, that's carbon one in a six-membered ring. This will be carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon four, carbon five, and there's carbon six. Every monosaccharide has six carbons. It's just a matter of where they are. Let's come over here to the other sugar. There's our oxygen. So here's our anomeric carbon, which is carbon number one carbon number two, carbon number three, carbon number four, five, and six. So there we've successfully labeled our carbon numbers. Now we want to go ahead and circle the glycosidic bond. A lot of times on exams I'll ask students to, uh, I'll show them a, a disaccharide and I'll say, hey, go ahead and circle the glycosidic bond. So right here, that's the glycosidic bond. It, it encompasses the carbon, number one, the oxygen, and carbon number four of the other sugar ring. Okay? So that is the glycosidic bond. Uh, a lot of people describe it as an ether that connects two sugar molecules. It's not exactly an ether, but it's close enough for this class. So we'll call it an ether that connects sugar molecules through an oxygen. Okay? Now, we're considering this oxygen right there and we're going to assign alpha and beta to it. Now, we have to be careful here, because remember, you can only assign alpha and beta for an anomeric carbon. You can't assign alpha and beta for a non-anomeric carbon. So why don't we take another color, let's take purple, and why don't we circle or put squares around the anomeric carbons? There's two of them. Here's one, but this one that I just circled, the one right here, that one is not involved in the glycosidic bond. So when trying to describe the glycosidic bond, we can just ignore it. It's there, it's important, but for this question, we don't have to deal with it. So let's just kind of, you know, know it's there, but not worry about it. And the other, the other anomeric carbon is right there. That carbon's anomeric. It's, it's find the oxygen in the ring, one carbon to the right, that's anomeric. So we can assign alpha and beta from there. Now notice on carbon number one of the left-handed sugar, the oxygen is in the downward position. That's alpha. Okay, just like when we assigned it for monosaccharides, we looked at the OH and in glycosidic bonds, you just look for the O, the oxygen. Here the oxygen is down and it's between carbon one and carbon four. Carbon number one, carbon number four. All right, so how you would describe this bond is alpha dash one comma two, uh, pardon me, not two, get rid of that, comma four glycosidic bond. Okay, that's how you describe it. Now, let me quickly erase some of this stuff and I'll show you, I'll go uh, work backwards a little bit and show you what everything in that name means in case you didn't follow it. All right, alpha, that means that this oxygen here is pointing in the downward position. It's going down towards the bottom of your page. The one means that carbon number one, the anomeric carbon, is part of the glycosidic bond. Carbon number four of the other sugar right there is part of the glycosidic bond. And this, with a little square around it, is our glycosidic bond. So this is telling me the glycosidic bond on the anomeric carbon is pointing in the downward direction. It's between carbon one and carbon four. 
and the bond is glycosidic, which means it's an oxygen that connects to sugar molecules. Now I know this is a little bit complicated, but you can actually do this. Just give yourself time to learn it. It's not that hard. Okay? Now, if you still have trouble after you've tried to learn it on your own, please head over to the Academic Success Center, talk to one of our many tutors over there, or come and find your professor and ask them directly how to do this. It's really not that hard, but it really is quite important for you to understand when we move forward into more complicated sugars. All right? Now with that, I wish you good luck and good chemistry.